This is what we're working with in order to get a minnow. The SpongeBob fish tank kit. This is killer. I gotta get a bait of fish. Dude, this is gonna be so sick. I asked you guys last video, weed whacker, one second. Should I give away a 10 gallon fish tank? And you know that answer was uh, yes. There was 10,000 yeses actually. And I'm here today to tell you how you can win the first one. I don't know how I'm gonna give away the second one. I've already done a YouTube giveaway, so I'm gonna go to Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, wait till the next YouTube giveaway or so on and so forth. But if you wanna win this tank right here, of course I'm gonna scrub it even more. But all you gotta do is like this video, hit that like button, and follow me on Instagram. The link for my Instagram is of course in the description, so just click that, click follow, and then DM me your email. That's all you gotta do. If you do become the winner, that's how I can contact you is through that email. So, three simple rules. Like this video, follow me on Instagram, and DM me your email. That's how you can win this tank right here. So that's that. If you want to win a fish tank, those are the three rules. And hopping on into today's title and thumbnail, we're going to the pet store, and we're going to get a SpongeBob-themed aquarium. So it's like a mini aquarium. You see me do these things multiple times. And then we're going to pick out the decor and everything. Even the back of the tank's going to be SpongeBob-themed. Everything is going to be SpongeBob. I don't know how I haven't thought of this earlier, but I have been thinking about it lately, and today's the day where I'm just going for it. If you guys haven't done so already, join the family. Hit that subscribe button and click turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any of these videos. It's free. It's right down there below that red button. Just click it. Without further ado, I'm going to send you on over to the pet store where we did end up picking all of our Spongebob stuff out. Here we go. Okay, we are here at the pet store once again. They got a good selection of betta fish here. I guess they just got some betta fish in, but I got to get a betta fish. Maybe a friend for Luna or something soon. I remember I mentioned it in an old video and a lot of people said we should. There's the colorful ones. These are all males though, so uh, we're looking for the females because uh, a male and a male wouldn't go well. Male and a female, breeding. Two females, Gucci. Main purpose I'm here though is to buy this right here in front of me. The SpongeBob fish tank kit. This is killer. I mean, this is, this is gonna be insane. So this is just the tank, I believe. I, mean, I gotta check, maybe this stuff comes with it, but I doubt that the core inside comes with it. All right, yeah, nothing but uh, the background, the SpongeBob background, which should be pretty cool once we get water and everything in it. So it's got a bunch of rules on the back. As you can see, this thing goes on top of the aquarium, I'm guessing. Um, there's a background already that you put in. Includes plastic aquarium with cover, water release cap for easy water changes. Oh, that's awesome. Colorful background, setup decoration. I don't, didn't see that in there, but we're gonna buy some anyway. Put that right there, and look at this. We got a whole entire setup right here. Of course, we're just gonna get the double pack right here, $7.99 for Patrick and SpongeBob. We got Sandy Cheeks right here. We're gonna get this one as well, the squirrel. Now we need one, maybe maybe two. One thing especially though to go inside the tank. I'm definitely getting Krusty Krab, 100%. Gotta have food being made for the fish while they're in there. Maybe, maybe SpongeBob's uh, pineapple? I'm gonna go with that. Slightly balancing all my products that I just bought. So we got pineapple, Krusty Krab, Patrick, SpongeBob, Sandy Cheeks, and the tank itself right there. Don't drop it, don't drop it. This is gonna be so sick. SpongeBob Aquarium. Yeah, right? It's got a background on and everything. What's your favorite character? SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy Cheeks? I think Sponge. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff. Out of these three characters, comment down below which one's your favorite. I'm going with Patrick because he was just the funniest one out of them all. So Patrick, you're my winner. All right. That's that. We got every single thing we need in order to do this video right here in my hand. It was $55. For any of those that wanted to maybe do this yourself, that's the price. And uh, that's that. I will see you at my house. I'm just going to throw you up real quick. I'll catch you. Back home and um, there's a pig in the blankets. Lulu, you've been sleeping all day. You want to know an animal that will snuggle and not only snuggle but sleep more than any other animal I've ever owned. Like, I, I take her out, she runs around, but she just loves to sleep. That's what she enjoys to do. You need to get up. Come on. <laughs> it is indeed your dinner time, so here we go. One handful. Eat away, little girl. So we are now in the tank room, and what we're going to do is set up that SpongeBob aquarium. This right here is probably gonna be one of my favorite uh, videos I've probably ever made, just because I love SpongeBob and also love fish tanks. So two for one, definitely gonna enjoy making this. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course, open the box, do a little unboxing here, shimmy this out. All right, just like that, we've got our tank out. It almost looks like a lizard enclosure. When I was little, I used to keep lizards and stuff like this, and of course, release them, but it's just something I did as a kid. I went out and I caught reptiles. Here's a little leaf that I'm guessing will just end up going right on top here somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, so there's two bends right here. All you gotta do is bend it like that in two, and then push it in right there, and now you have 
the top of your aquarium, which, Lulu, you can't be eating bubble wrap. I'm sorry. Our background is actually SpongeBob trying to catch jellyfish. Jellyfish Fields is where he is exactly. And he's uh, swooping down on some jellies. Look down here. This is for the water changes. You unplug that, and then water drips out so they could do uh, frequent water changes, which is crazy. I've never seen that on any other aquarium. And for this aquarium to be so cheap, at $19.99, you wouldn't expect something to come like that. Now, I don't have gravel nor sand for this, so I need to find out something or somewhere I can get some to use in here. Lots of gravel right here in our pathway. And this is the exact gravel that I actually used throughout all my ponds. You can see right here at the bottom, that's all this gravel, this exact gravel, even in the big pond over there. As you can see, got some rocks in the pouch like a kangaroo, and we're heading back inside to put this into the aquarium. I think this is actually too much. So there's our gravel. Of course, I prefer a little bit smaller, but we don't exactly have smaller gravel at the moment. Still looks good. Now we gotta get our characters off of uh, their little sheets here. There's Sandy Cheeks, so now we got Sandy Cheeks and she is ready to go into the aquarium once we get to that. Now we gotta take out Patrick and Spongebob. And right there is Patrick and Spongebob. So now we have two and three. Three different characters for our aquarium. Now I believe our aquarium is a bit too small for all of this stuff. Now you can see we'll put Krusty Krab and this already takes up, uh, this is definitely gonna be the one that's gonna be left out. But we're gonna put this somewhere. Let's put that to the side for now. Krusty Krab is going dead center in the middle, that's for sure. Let me just shimmy it down in the rocks. Boom, there's the Krusty Krab in its aquarium. Now for the characters. Patrick, of course, is going in. SpongeBob, of course, is going in second. And then we're gonna have Sandy Cheeks go right next to the Krusty Krab. So there's our aquarium. As you can tell, it looks pretty good, but that is without water, of course. So now we're gonna fill it up with water and uh, see how it looks. And there our aquarium is. It looks amazing. The background really does it, so shout out to this company, whoever makes this, for including that in the package. Before I do anything with the rest of that, let me show you where I'm gonna end up putting this right here. Oh, look, a turtle. I'm gonna put this little hut into the mini pond because there's a bunch of little fish. Oh, wow. That's not a real pineapple. Maybe that isn't a great choice to put it in here. Or just keep it in there. In this box right here, we have a little tiny aquascape pump. Look at this little thing. This is exactly what we could put in here if we wanted to. Although we don't have much room, I honestly think I'm just gonna give it a try and put it in there and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, so in order to fit this pump in, we're gonna have to take out, I'm definitely keeping Patrick in there, but we're gonna take out Sandy Cheeks. Sorry for all those who like Sandy Cheeks and then put Patrick in the place where she was. Now get our pump and put the pump just like that and it'll actually suction cup. But before I do that, I gotta make sure the pump is on the lowest power it has because you can actually control the pressure you want pushing out. I want the lowest because it's not a big aquarium. So we put that in at the lowest amount and then we're gonna plug it in. And check this out, there's even a little notch that I could put the wiring through in order to put the top on and then the top isn't lumped at all. So that right there is actually the aquarium. You can actually keep a fish in here, not a big fish. I would never put anything, I wouldn't even put a fish that's the size of a beta in here. Although it said beta fish tank, I don't prefer this for a beta fish. This is way too small. But you definitely could put maybe a little shrimp or feeder minnow or something very, very small. There's the little pump and uh, it's looking pretty solid. All right, it's currently like 60 degrees out here. We're out at the pitch black lake. This is where we get our minnows. Nick, did you bring the net, bro? <laughs> Nick's got the net, so this is what we're working with in order to get a minnow. What do you think, bro? Can we do it? So cool. <laughs> it is very cold out. All right, here we go. What about a snail for Larry? Wait, that's his name, right? Larry the snail. Gary, it's cold. Gary. <laughs> it's, it's Gary. All right, yeah, let's bring a snail home for Gary. All right, this right here is Gary the snail. We're gonna bring him home. Dude, do you know this Rovi are complaining about like 65 degree weather when people are in like freezing, below freezing right now watching okay. this video. Bottom line is what we do is we just scoop along the bank and uh, all the minnows are pushed up on the bank because it is nighttime and they get afraid to be out in the middle of the lake. It's a big lake. But yes, we just scoop along the bank. I'm gonna get back to you when we get a minnow. We got them. This right here, got the minnow in the bottle and we got about a two minute ride home. Then we're gonna get him in the tank. And then after the tank, we're gonna put him in the pond. 
All right, now if you're wondering why I went and caught minnows at night, because that's the only time you can really catch them. I would have went during the day, but I had to wait until night in order to finish off this video. So we got a minnow and a snail. Snail is obviously Gary. The minnow, who knows what that could be. As you can tell, our fish is now in the aquarium. Check him out. He's chilling. He's actually a really good size for this aquarium. I wouldn't put anything much bigger than that at all. And then on top of the Krusty Krab, you can see our snail, Gary, chilling right there. This is literally a mansion for him. So I've actually caught these same exact fish, these minnows right here, in mud puddles. Like when a canal completely drains, there's like this much water left, and there's just thick mud. Almost like catfish would only be the things to be able to swim in it. Those minnows will still be alive, so they're very hardy fish. And obviously this is a mansion for that fish. It's pretty dang big. It actually doesn't say how much it is, but it's probably about a gallon. But I am not gonna keep our fish in that little tub. He goes and swims along into this massive pond right here. And there's a bunch of minnows in here already. So he'll join along and probably have babies. Thanks for watching the SpongeBob Aquarium. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy. If you did, once again, don't forget enter into that giveaway all you got to do is like the videos and follow me on instagram make sure to dm me your email and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't answered already today's positive comment shout out goes out to colton i love your channel and everything you do i've been here since 150k keep up the good work